What's going on guys? This is Spawn Duty. I'm the Spontaneous One and this is kind of a two for one day. I'm talking about orc poison and goblin poison. So orcs and goblins in a lot of fantasy genres and games are kind of just the common creatures you fight. When you're a low level you fight a lot of goblins and then when you get a little bit higher level you start fighting orcs. And a lot of people are just like, oh, we'll do them for experience grind, we'll use them for this, we'll use them for that. I found that if you have a really hardcore party, or you have a bunch of artificers, or people who like to not waste things, they start trying to come up with some interesting things to use. That's where orc poison and goblin poison has kind of come from. My player's thinking, hey... Might as well combine these two different things. Or, hey, let's try to make something and not waste these resources. So, let's just get into it. So, Goblin Poison is a common item. I have it set at 10 copper. And it is 2d6. Yeah, it is 2d6 poison damage. Whenever you ingest it, um, it is a DC 10 uh, constitution saving throw, and you take 2d6 every half hour, and you'll only be poisoned for two hours. Now, the reason we set the damage die at 2d6 is because that is what the average goblin's health is, and also these poisons are kind of targeted for that species, so... Goblin poison is a very easy to just poison a goblin and then it'll die to poison made from it. Then orc poison is a DC 13, same time frame as two hours, and you take it, um, and the damage pings every 30 minutes. And it is 2d8 plus 6, which is the orc's health pool. Um, the reason the DCs are the way they are is because a goblin has a constitution of 10, so a 0. Um, so it's just an average roll, and then a orc has a plus three to its constitution, that's why the DC is 13. Uh, I have the orc poison set at, um, a hundred copper pieces. Um, I can see you scaling them differently. Yes, with the cost of goblin poison, you could potentially buy ten of them to the orc poison and also be able to poison more people. But also, it's easier to it's easier to not be poisoned with orc poison, and also it is stronger. I kind of have it as the scaling of it takes you a lot more effort to kill an orc than it does a goblin. So you can change prices. You can do whatever you want with those. How I have my party members create these poisons is they're trying to use every part of them. So. It takes an artificer a level 3, or someone who's proficient with poisons in one way or another. Uh, work on it for one hour using various parts of an orc or a goblin. And then I've also had them try to make a combination of the two. Um, I could probably come up with something for that. But they end up failing the roll and never attempted it again. So I don't really know the stats or how balanced it would be. I would think it would be somewhere in between the orc and go um, goblin poisons. You can use these very well for a bunch of different things. You can use them in kind of like assassination plots. Because even with the goblin poison, you could kill a commoner with that. Or the orc poison, you could most likely kill a commoner with that. And then when it comes to just different fighting methods you could dip your knife in goblin poison or orc poison or dip your arrows or dip your sword there's many ways to use them they're kind of common because again goblins and orcs are common things to fight and i just think it's an easy concept especially if your characters want to try to make it it could be a way to introduce them to more game mechanics like with alchemy which most Players have never touched alchemy, in my experience at least, and to the people I've talked to. Uh, most people don't care about poisons when it comes to D&D &D or firearms, even though they are official in the game. 
I definitely enjoy using poison in my game. It can be very fun to have, like I'll set the stage, they enter the vampire's castle and the vampire invites them to dinner. Now we could make a play on words that they'll be the dinner, but you have them come in, they sit down, and while they're drinking the fine wine that the um, vampire had given them, they find out that it was poisoned. Or you could turn it into some other weird aspect. I just think they're very common and easy things to use, and overall just very convenient. Thank you all for watching, hopefully you enjoyed. Talk to your DM about it, or maybe throw into your next campaign. It's just an easy item to make, and I've enjoyed my players trying to be creative. That's why I'm actually talking about this, because my players really love the idea that I can create poison. Hope you all have a wonderful day.